Hey guys, Alex Crockford here, creator of the Crockford app, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's time to start working with the dumbbells, and this is a dumbbell only back workout, back and biceps, or a pulling workout, a workout that you would go to the gym and focus on just pulling. So we're gonna work the back and biceps. I have three sets of dumbbells with me. I have 15 kilos, 12 and a half kilos, and eight kilos. If you've just got one, that's absolutely fine. We can get through these five exercises or four exercises with just one piece. But if you do have a heavy one and a lighter one, that's gonna help because some we can use slightly heavier and others we're gonna isolate with slightly lighter. We're gonna work around with 40 seconds work and 20 seconds rest for five different sets and then we're gonna go straight through for three rounds. That's just 15 minutes. So before we get started, give this video a thumbs up, click subscribe and let's get into it. Starting with a small warm up. Okay, first warm up exercise. We're gonna to go to a cat and cow position to warm up the spine. From this position, roll your spine up, chin to chest, big stretch and with your breath, come to the opposite position, chest up, hips back and go for five in each position, moving through the spine, two, keep breathing, three, four, one more, five. Okay, lay onto your front, from here, bring your chin into chest and bring your arms out at a wide position. Keep your hands up off the floor and then bring your elbows back. Squeeze your lats. Go for five reps of those from Y to W. Five. Good. Okay, right, let's come up. Exercise one, we're gonna be going into a bent over row, the two dumbbells, bent over forward, straight back, pulling your elbows into your back. Get ready to start, 40 seconds start now. Bent over row, let's go. Fully extend your arms, think about driving your elbows back as high as you can. Stomach in, core engaged. Make sure your spine is long, chest up. Try to get nice and flat towards the floor, but don't round your spine like this. It has to be elongated and straight. One more rep. And rest. So I'm using my heavier dumbbells here with 15. I'm gonna go straight from there into a single arm row. Use a wall or a chair or a bench, whatever you've got, to place one hand on the wall, just for a little bit of support, lift the other arm up, get ready for a single arm row, one arm at a time, let's go. Again, fully extend, drive the elbow up as high as you can. Think about placing that elbow in towards your back pocket, driving down your back. Rest for 20, same on the other side. It's really important throughout all of these exercises, you're really engaging in the core as well. When we're in this position, you've got it engaged, strong core. Get ready, switch arms, squeeze those lats on the other side. Two, one, let's go. Keep your elbow nice and narrow to your body. and get that mind to muscle control, contraction in the lats. <sighs> 10 more seconds. Rest 
there. Okay, that's three sets. So now I'm moving into a bent over reverse fly. I'm moving to my lightest weight, which are eight kilos, both dumbbells, tilting forwards, and now pulling out into a rear fly position, working on those rear delts. And you can come up and rest whenever you need to. Let's go. Bend your knees, tilt forwards, long spine, pull out to the side. Upper traps, rear delts, strong core again. Keep going. When it gets too tough, take two seconds break and straight back in. Rest. Let's finish off with the fifth exercise, bicep curl. Probably choose again my lightest weights on eight. We can always adjust for round two and three. But both arms at the same time from full extension all the way up to shoulders and squeeze. Get ready, let's go. We're up, squeeze, pinch, lower down control. Oh, this is all about time under tension with these workouts. I guarantee when you're in the gym, you take all those minutes of rest. This is all that intensity because there's not much rest. Keep going. And rest. So that's one round. The real challenge will now be without any rest going into round two and round three. So get ready for the bent over row with both dumbbells, the heavier kind, getting ready to pull with both arms. This is the big worker, the backs, the back of the shoulders, the core, two, one. Here we go. Squeeze the glutes as well. We need strong legs in this position. You can play around with the grip angle, palms facing towards you, maybe palms facing in, or an angle between the two of them. Three. Okay, feel that back really working now. Stay hydrated, keep drinking. This is 15 minutes of tough work. Get ready for single arm row. You can also do this without using a wall. If you split your legs like this, reach in the middle and pull supporting off of your front knee on the other arm. If your weight isn't that heavy, then you might not need support, and you can just go from here. That's fine as well. The heavier it gets, the harder that's gonna be. Two, one, four. The main thing with this back workout is your quality of contraction. Really thinking about driving the elbows down and back. Should be able to get those back muscles working. Get ready for the other arm. If you didn't watch my body weight only back workout, it'd be good to do that one first and learn the exercises to get those muscles working. I'll link it for you. Next arm, let's go.
elbows as high as you can. Get those elbows up. And next when talking about that is how to initiate the movement. You don't just want to use the bicep, you want to pull with the shoulders and the back first and then the arms. Don't just make it a bicep exercise. Next, bent over, reverse fly. Light dumbbells, tilt forwards and pull. And like I said about the angles with the bent over row, same here. If you want to keep your palms facing inwards, you can. You can also try palms facing down. It's going to have a slightly different contraction on those rear delts. Squeeze the shoulder blades together as the elbows come up. Exercise into the bicep curl. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna up it to the 12 and a half and knee on this one for the bicep curl. Uh. Bicep curls. Let's go. but I might regret it. No, can't regret hard work. Okay, two rounds done, shake it off. So it gets really hard, five minutes to go. Back to exercise one. Bent over row. Heavier weights, things are going to start fatiguing quite hard now. Get ready. Exercise one, two, one. Let's go. Strong core, strong glutes, and pull. Elbows up. Be explosive up and control down. Elbows tight to the body. Relax the shoulders down. Keep going. Oh, wow, okay, it's getting hot. I'm filming this during the coronavirus lockdown. So it's okay to be out in the garden where nobody else is. Beautiful warmth in the sun. Spring is on its way. Get ready for single arm row. Let's go. Whatever version you're doing, make it good. Don't forget that stretch, lengthen and pull. Think about those rear delts as well, behind the shoulders, pulling and squeezing. Oh, burn it. Three, two, one. Oh. See what I did there? Have you hit failure? Have you really hit failure? And secondly, if you really have hit failure, drop it, shake it, and more reps. Working with time humbles you because you can really give it everything you've got, not just, oh, I'm supposed to do 10, so I'll get to 10, then I'll stop. No, if you get to failure, finish when the work is done. Switch arms, let's go. Yeah. <sighs> 
Oh, keep going. Five seconds. More reps. Oh. Oh. And generally speaking, people are a lot weaker in their back than they are in the front because we love chest days, we love shoulder days, and we all sit in bad posture all day. So we need to strengthen our back for postural reasons as well as weaknesses. Right, let's move into the bent over reverse fly. Almost done. Let's go. Elbows high, shoulder blades squeeze. seconds. Keep powerful, keep strong. Straight strong back, stomach in. Oh. Two, one. Oh. Oh. Okay, making it to the final minute. Get ready for the bicep curls. Oh, my back is definitely pumped. It's working. Okay. Back with my twelves and a half. Forty seconds. Let's go. What am I doing? Both arms. Both arms right now because we don't want to have one arm resting. failure and hit more. This is how we grow muscle at home. Come on. Just talking to myself there. Ah. Ah, okay. Okay, well done. That was a back and bicep workout just with dumbbells. Only 15 minutes and I can feel these rear delts are popping, the lats are working. And you know what? That's just 15 minutes. If you want to carry on, for four or five rounds and make that slight longer workout for more volume, then good. It all depends on your level and where you are now and what you want to get out of it. If you're a beginner, that's going to be awesome. If you're advanced already and you're used to doing hours and hours at the gym, then maybe up the sets, add in another exercise. That's just five exercises for five minutes. But it does show you, you can spend hours in the gym, but sometimes just 15 minutes of intensity with hardly any rest can get you incredible results as well because we're increasing that intensity by using timing of intervals. Last week during the coronavirus lockdown, I was doing all body weight workouts. Make sure you check that out on my YouTube and Instagram. This week I'm doing all dumbbell, starting with back and biceps, tomorrow more of a push, shoulders, chest, and triceps, and then finishing with legs, so it's a three-part split. Make sure you look out for those workouts, because I'm creating like workout splits for you. The following week, I'll do the same with kettlebells, and the following week, I'll do the same for bands. So you really have to click subscribe and keep watching these workouts, because I'm creating little workout plans for you here. What you could do now also is add on like a cardio hit workout, or even like a 10-minute abs as well, which is what I'm gonna do later on. Thanks so much for watching, comment underneath, how that workout felt for you, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.